Biomass is a satellite sensor flown by the European Space Agency to be launched in 2020. It's unique because it's dedicated to understanding the world's forests and their role in uh, provision of materials and in climate. Um, it's using radically new technologies that allow us to measure the actual wood in the trees, not the leaves, but or the actual solid material that we use for energy and material and, uh, and store carbon to reduce the climate change. It actually can measure not just the biomass, but also the height of the forest. And it all can also measure well, how the material is distributed in the forest. We actually can construct probably three or four layers in a tropical forest, showing where the material actually sits. Well, as the chair of the Earth Science Advisory Committee, we were charged with the responsibility of advising ESA on about which of a number of candidate missions ought to be flown. So these are science-based missions that are breaking new ground in technology and in science. Biomass, which is measuring forest uh, carbon in trees, was one of the candidate missions. And we had to scrutinize the mission very carefully, both in terms of its scientific content and in terms of technical risk. And we had to do that in comparison with other candidate missions. And biomass came through strongly as the lead mission. We had a unanimous decision by the Earth Science Advisory Committee. And we're very excited about the decision having been made and, and the future of biomass looks very secure and is eliciting a lot of interest. So looking to the future, biomass will really revolutionise our understanding of the role of forests and carbon in the climate system. These represent very big uncertainties in our knowledge of, of climate and what the climate will be in the future. Biomass will also be the foundation for enabling us to build satellites to monitor the Earth's forests in the longer term, which will be of great interest to society. One of the really important issues in getting biomass into space was that it needed inputs from a whole range of talents and capabilities and science areas. And again, one of the things that NERC gave to me that allowed me to make that happen was my experience in leading such large teams in the UK universities across many disciplines, and I've done it over 12 years now. Uh, and that made me uniquely fitted, along as well as my other capabilities, specialist capabilities, to, make, to lead a team that could do this. And it's not just in the UK, because it's an international activity. So we're pulling in experts from Germany, Italy, uh, Scandinavia, from France, from Greece. So a, a whole range of European countries are involved in making this happen. There's modelers, there's psychologists, there's statisticians, there's uh, satellite engineers, all, all, all sorts of people. Uh, they're all needed. Biomass is a beautiful example of where uh, continuous funding from NERC over a long period of time has led to an impact and an outcome which they could never have conceived of when they were funding the individual pieces. Where we are now means that biomass can provide a focus for a whole range of work in the UK and beyond and can gain enormously from current expertise in, in the NERC community, for example in our outstanding tropical forest community of measure, making ground measurements. From my point of view, I'm extremely thankful to NERC to allow us to make this happen and to the outstanding opportunities it provides to the new generation of scientists. Thank you.